Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where I talk about what I personally consider to be canon in the Thomas universe. Whether or not something is canon is an argument amongst many franchises, such as whether Fantastic Beasts or Cursed Child is canon in the Harry Potter universe, or if Big Finish or Series 12 are canon in the Doctor Who universe. Before I start though, I should briefly run through what I mean by canon. If something is canon, it means said event actually happens in the universe that it's set in. Non-canon means it, it didn't, so it's effectively just a piece of fan fiction. And also, this is just my opinion. If you disagree with me, good for you. Okay, so starting off with the obvious. The original 26 books written by Wilbert Audrey are canon. Then we come on to the Christopher Audrey books, which, personally, I don't consider canon. They take a very different direction than the TV series, so only one can be canon, and I tend to go against the Christopher books. I really like his first book and want to be able to call it canon, but there's the issue with In Bold Out, Stepney and Duck pull a 15 Coach Express so well they get there early, and then in um, then Thomas, Percy and Duck couldn't even manage to get a normal size express the whole way. So, unfortunately, in my eyes, um, none of Christopher's books are canon. Then we come on to the TV series. Season 1, in my view, is not canon. It is based on canon things, but the episodes themselves are not canon. An example of why it's not canon is in The Sad Story of Henry. In the books, a red engine attempts to push Henry out of the tunnel, and in the TV series, it's Thomas who tries to push Henry out of the tunnel. Only one of these can be canon, and I'm going for the books. I was going to say that any story in the first four seasons adapted from a Wilbur Torture story isn't canon, and any adapted from a Christopher Rogers story or an Andrew Brennan magazine is canon, but then there's the issue of the locations. I've mentioned this in a previous video, and Lucky Tug put this on his Twitter page, so I imagine most of you already know this, but for those who don't, the locations in the TV series aren't the same as in the Railway series. In the Railway series, Tinmouth is the main sheds, same as in the TV series, so that's okay, but then we have the main station. In the Railway series, Tinmouth is the main station, and Knapford is a small station where the main line meets Thomas's branch line. In the TV series, Knapford is the main station and Tinmouth is a small station and it seems to have disappeared completely in the CGI era. Also in the books, Tinmouth is the main harbour, Knapford is a small harbour and Brendan is a tiny dock that Bill and Ben bring Clay to. But in the TV series, Tinmouth Harbour never appears. Knapford appears to be the main harbour in series 1 and 4. Brendan has been the main docks in series 2, 3 and 5 onwards, and all of this makes it very hard for me to declare any of the TV series canon. Ultimately, what I have decided is that if you're watching an episode of the TV series and the characters are at Knapford, those events happened but they actually took place at Tidmouth. So they are canon just with location changes. So, for seasons 1 to 4, if they're based on a Wilbert Audrey story, they're not canon. But if they're based on a Christopher Audrey or Andrew Brenner story, or an original story, they are canon just with location changes, with the exception of Rusty to the Rescue. And then we get on to seasons 5 to 7. Most of the episodes from these three seasons I count the same as the non-Wilbert stories canon but with location changes. There are, however, two exceptions. The first exception is Rusty Saves the Day from Season 6. I really like this episode, 
but it does raise some canonical issues, such as isn't Renaissance and Scar Louis line the whole narrow gauge railway? So I don't consider this episode canon. And the other is the old bridge from season 7. And I don't really think I need to explain why, other than this is the start of engines having their characters messed up. Also, touching briefly on Magic Railroad, not canon. There is no way Magic Railroad can be canon other than possibly as a dream. Then on to the Hit and Miller eras, both of which I consider non-canon as it's more of the old bridge. The characters are not anything like how they're supposed to, like especially Edwards. You watch Edward Strikes Out and there is no way that that is the same Edward that was in the classic era. Then we have the Brenner era, and like with seasons 5 to 7, I count them as canon, but just with location changes. But there's one issue. He's to the animal park? No, I know. Going to Misty Island? No! Misty Island was only ever shown in the Miller era, with only two references to it in the Brenner era. Ferdinand briefly appearing in Signals Crossed, and this reference. The Ferdinand one I can rule out, as I don't count Signals Cross as canon for the same reason I don't count the Old Bridge as canon. They have completely messed up Toby's character. But um, this reference to Misty Island is harder to explain. But I do have two theories. The first is that, as Salty always tells stories, he told the engines a story about Misty Island. And now it's like a running joke between the engines. But as far as we know, they have never been there. They don't know it exists. They just think it's another one of Salty Stories. And the other theory is that the TV show exists in the in the Thomas universe. So the TV show exists and they know about this film where Thomas goes to a place called Misty Island. And quickly about the Bubba era, Ode and Michael White episodes are canon. If you want more information about why I don't consider the rest canon, watch Unlucky Tug's review of Bubba, um, specifically the bit about how he's saying that the episodes don't fit one continuity because uh, Thomas goes around the world, Nia is with him basically the whole time, but in the following seasons, when he's travelling the world, it's just him. Nia's not there, so is it a second trip around the world that they've never mentioned? Is it, you know. So that's what I see as canon. The original 26 books, the non-Wilbert seasons 1-4 to four episodes, minus Rusty to the Rescue, most of seasons 5-7, to seven, most of the Brenner era, and the Michael White episodes, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram by clicking on the link in the description, but that is all for today, I will see you next week.